On home ice, there was no lack of support for the Stars as they warmed up in an arena full of fans, though the players themselves appeared to be rooting for a different team, one Russ Lusk waited in the wings to represent. Tonight is a huge night for us. The Navy veteran turned hockey player is a member of the Dallas Warriors. As a veteran that suffered from PTSD, from combat, and things of that nature, it's allowed me to have a family that I can turn to at any time. A family just a year old that's comprised of more than 80 men and women who've also served and returned home with some kind of disability. We have uh, a member that has a prosthetic leg. We have members that have traumatic, uh, traumatic brain injuries um, from IED explosions in Iraq and Afghanistan. None of which seem to matter on the ice. It's just absolutely incredible because we can relate with each other. And while we're complaining about the pain that we're in, we realize that the man or the woman next to you might be in the same amount of pain. So let's try to toughen up a little bit. You know, it's tough love. And an invaluable community placed tonight on a pedestal by the Dallas Stars and its foundation for an honorary puck drop. 50-50 raffle tonight for local veterans. And a chance to raise some funds to cover ice time in tournaments, but mostly to put their support behind a team that understands the word better than most. There's something about putting on a uniform again with your brothers and sisters and to have a common enemy for an hour. And then, uh, you know, after the fact, you get to hang out and swap stories again. and. Uh, and just have that camaraderie. Uh, it really means a lot to, to, to the guys and uh, the players. And a lot to the citizens they served in Dallas. Ali Spilliards, NBC5. Mm -hmm. so